How to Stay Married for Good, Part 2. What Couples Can Do to Nourish Their Relationship. View your marriage as your most important relationship. Wear your wedding ring and remain faithful. Be attentive and affectionate. Always include your partner in important decisions and respect their opinion. Glance, don't stare at members of the opposite sex. Never criticize or embarrass your spouse in public. Call when late. Care for your personal hygiene and health. Accept suggestions about sexual matters without becoming defensive. Keep your dwelling neat and clean. Harmonize your spending habits. Keep the toilet lid down. What wives can do to nourish their relationship. Allow your husband to temporarily withdraw to sort out upsetting issues. Clearly indicate if support or advice is wanted when complaining about something or someone by stating, quote, I just want to let off some steam. You don't have to make any suggestions, unquote. Never discuss very personal issues about your relationship with anyone, including your mother, but rather talk directly to him or your counselor. Don't compare him to other men in terms of height, income, or hair. Acknowledge that some men need to occasionally act like boys, the reckless spirit that proves he hasn't completely conformed. Learn to communicate your needs directly rather than expect him to read your mind. If he is a curious man, let him focus on the news without interruption. Initiate lovemaking. What husbands can do to nourish their relationship. Say I love you without being asked. Ask how her day has gone and listen without interrupting. Have give and take conversations instead of delivering lectures. Listen to her concerns and complaints without offering advice and solutions unless she asks. Never say she shouldn't feel a certain way. If you've said or done something to upset her, simply say, I'm sorry, and be more sensitive in the future. Remember and celebrate birthdays, anniversaries, and other important events. Flowers go a long way. Notice and comment positively on her appearance in terms of hairstyle and fashion sense. Never comment on changes to her figure, unless she's deliberately trying to shape up and is fishing for a compliment. Learn to be a better lover by asking her what she likes. Invite her to help you develop your sense of fashion. Drive smoothly when she's in the vehicle, and don't yell or gesture at other drivers. Watch TV and attend movies and other events she wants to see. Ask for directions if lost, especially if you are late. Limit anger in acting out. Get help for this if you need it. Admit when you're wrong and apologize. What is marriage counseling? Good marriage counselors initially help distressed couples decide whether to repair their relationship or to separate. Marital counseling is designed to reduce conflict by helping couples solve their problems more effectively. Like most valuable services, marital counseling is rarely free. Fees pay for salaries, preparation time, rent and clerical services. Some counselors adjust their fees according to the couple's ability to pay. Employee assistance programs, called EAPs, and insurance plans may subsidize counseling. The financial losses associated with divorce are much greater than the cost of couples counseling. Remember, just because you can't solve your problems doesn't mean they can't be solved. That's why we consult experts when stumped. Questions to expect from marriage counselors. What do you hope to get from counseling? What would be different if we succeeded together? What is the smallest change that would help immediately? How do you solve problems together? How do you spend money and discipline your children? How are chores shared? How do you relate to members of each other's families? What is your social life like? How might your sexual relationship be improved? How do you manage your free time? 